now that I've written the poem to the music, I've done it a number of times, and I, I just really love the outcome. Uh, I've, I can't perform the poem without the music, so I always carry my iPod with me, and I'm like, yeah, let's rock this. So uh, the um, it's called Lullaby, and the idea behind it was I was thinking of your guys' next generation, the generation you guys are going to produce, and in the hope that you would hear this, and you would think of them. And that's the idea. We have a lot of work to do. This is my last piece, and I love you all. Thank you. It's going to be loud, and I want it to be. Hope people out there are going, what's going on in there? It's crazy. There's a sweaty guy, and I like him. <laughs> Sleep, babies. Sleep. While you're doing just that, we'll be pretending to work on a world where you'll have no worries. Every generation before us promised us something they couldn't achieve, something that wasn't theirs to offer. They gave us their word, and they pretended that this world would get better, and they told us it would get better. So the only logical promise we can make right now is that it won't, at least not yet. It's not because they failed us or we will fail you. It is only because change is something that takes time, lots and lots of time. For every hundred years of war, it takes another hundred to heal. For every day of hatred and indifference, we should require one more day of love, maybe even two or three. For every moment of suffering, we should offer up an hour of serenity and redemption. This will not be easy. We will be handing you a difficult task, a hardened journey, and billions of souls just as lost as we were. Maybe you won't be. But no matter what, you've got to champion all the colors of the world in all of its forms. Cheer for the color of your neighbor, the same way you'd marvel at the blue sky. Hold on to their skin as you would a cherished memory. Skin is like time, and we should wear it well, every single one of us. See what you can do about coming together. It sounds silly, but I assure you it is not. We're so near that stage that seemed so impossible a hundred years ago. Imagine what your great-great-grandparents would think of your world. Imagine what they feared. Look inside yourself and try not to be afraid of love, loss, and life. Do not fear what is different. Difference and danger are two very separate things. Replace fear with celebration. Tell fear to go away, because this world will teach you to fear all the very wrong things. The fewer people you hurt, the better you will feel. Try your best and your hardest to move minds and mountains. You have a lot of work ahead of you. I know this because I'm trying my best and my hardest with everything and thought and thriving love I have and know. I am not alone in these. I know so many other people who want what we all want. It's a peace that is so simple, so thorough and light, and it cannot be stopped if everyone tries a little hard. And I don't want to believe it is too late for us, but it isn't too late for you. While these hopeful words push through unpredictable ages, I challenge you to push yourselves. This must be a lasting challenge to remind everyone that while it seems so far away, there is a lasting peace. So sleep, little ones. Sleep, you working babies, you loving souls, you fantastic creatures stressing over taxes and death. Sleep now and sing yourself awake to a new way, a just world. Fight for your truest self. Laugh at your truest self. Love your truest self. Live up to who you really are. Fight for the ones who cannot. Fight, live, fight, love, fight, laugh, fight, fight, fight. fight.